In this example, we will be estimating the square root of 95 to the nearest tenths place value. To do this, we need to look at perfect squares nearby to 95. 9 squared is equal to 81. That's close to 95, but a little bit lower. Let's look at 10 squared. 10 squared is 100. So we can see that 95 falls between 81 and 100. This gives us enough information to write the following inequality. The square root of 81 is less than the square root of 95, which is less than the square root of 100. We know this is true because 81 is less than 95, which is less than 100. Now we can rewrite the square root of 81 as 9, because 9 squared is 81. And we can rewrite the square root of 100 as 10, because 10 squared is 100. Now we can see that the square root of 95 is between 9 and 10. To find the tenths place approximation, we should try values between 9 and 10 and see when they're squared, what it gives us, and if that's close to 95. Let's try 9.5 squared first, which is 9.5 times 9.5. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 9 times 5 is 45, plus 2 is 47, add our 0. 9 times 5 is 45, carry the 4. And then 9 times 9 is 81, plus 4 is 85. We add these together, we end up getting 90.25. So let's try values a little bit larger. Let's try 9.6 squared, or 9.6 times 9.6. 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 3 is 57, add our 0. 9 times 6 is 54, carry the 5. And then 9 times 9 is 81, plus 5 is 86. When we add these together, we end up getting 92.16, which we can see is still a little bit far from 95. So let's try 9.7. 9.7 squared is 9.7 times 9.7. 7 times 7 is 49, carry the 4. 9 times 7 is 63, plus 4 is 67. Add our 0. 9 times 7 is 63, carry our 6. And then 9 times 9 is 81, plus 6 is 87. When we add these together, we end up getting 94.09, which is very close to 95. Let's try 9.8 just to make sure. 9.8 squared is 9.8 times 9.8. 8 times 8 is 64, carry the 6. 9 times 8 is 72, plus 6 is 78, add our 0. 9 times 8 is 72, carry the 7. And then 9 times 9 is 81, plus 7 is 88. When we add these together, we end up getting 96.04. So we can see that that 94.09 was closer. So because a 94.09 was closer, that 9.7 squared gave us the closest thing to 95. So we can say 9.7 squared gives us approximately 95. The square root of 95 is therefore approximately 9.7.